Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the front gallery. And I am determined on the 4th of July that I will have some independence. And I am going to use a little bit of my black enamel that I found that I color-coded red so I wouldn't lose it and then lost it anyway. Um, I just want to add whatever I'm going to add in a seemingly random pattern. Because random patterns are what I'm pretty good at, or at least I used to be. And then I may tilt. I may or may not cross things over. I'm just going to keep finding colors I like in combination with each other and adding them to the canvas until I have enough. My gold has decided to close up. Both of them? Oh, come on. Really? That'll be okay, I think. Probably not. That is a Decor Americana 24 karat gold. And I'm going to take the top off of that so that I remember to unplug it. Or maybe I should just do that right now. I did it before. <laughs> it's not supposed to plug up this fast inside. I raised my turntable above my table so that I would be more comfortable, and I am. <laughs> I don't think I've done anything exactly like this, and I'm looking forward to it, to tell you the truth. I like to move in all four directions when I create my abstract expressionist artwork anyway. I think I want some magenta, even though I have this as a Decor Americana berry, and the magenta is very similar to it. Now, I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my mixtures, so that what that really means is that I don't have to actually I just shook you. Okay. That'll be interesting. I'll have to get that off the window. <laughs> I'm not used to working inside at all. But at least it didn't go on any of the art, I don't think. That's the danger of working in the room. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm not seeing anything bad. I think most of it went on my painting. Uh, what else? I love this blue. I think I can get this blue to stay because the background of this is dry. I'm just putting colors where I want them. And I'm probably going to put some more white in there. Actually, I haven't used any of the purple flash from Folk Art that was my original intention. Now I'm taking my chances because I'm inside and paint won't dry as quickly. So I'm kind of thinking that I could do this experiment without worrying. And that's why I'm doing it. Now I could tilt, I could do all kinds of stuff. I could drag a basting brush through there. I could put chain through there. What colors have I not used? I got a little bit of this mysterious left. I hope I have another bottle of it stashed. I really wanted to take a shovel of paint, and I have a shovel, and I have some light blue that's obviously plugged. Okay, come out, plug. It's weird being without the sound of birds and nature around me, which is the usual. I'm also not hearing the neighbors or anybody jumping in the pool or whatever. Okay, hopefully... No, I got it. It was a huge plug. Yes. It's a high note. The blue is good. I really could just leave that as it is. 
but you know I'm not going to do that. Okay, so I was saying, I have a shovel, and I have a closed bottle of paint, of course, and I want to play with my neon folk art multi-surface acrylic, and I'm just going to put that into my leftover paint, give it a good squeeze, do some of that white metallic from Anita's, and what else? I think the berry. And I'm going to take a chance and put some of that other stuff. <laughs> I think it's a red opal from uh, Folk Art Treasures. And now, and that was supposed to be something it wasn't. Are these in my way? No, they're not. I'm going to tip this up. This is a really weird way of doing something, but um, I'm liking it. And instead of waiting for that paint to relax out of that shovel, I'm going to use my Princeton Artful Catalyst spatula. And then I'm going to see if there's anything I want in here. And the one thing I wanted at the end of the last artwork I created was some orange. And I didn't put any in this either. And I still have to choose whether I'm tilting or not. I'm going to put a little bit of orange in there, just because I can. That's the name of my first book. You can find it on the Amazon link, by the way. The Amazon link is under the link tree link, which is under the video. It's the first blue link. This is pretty cool. I like it. I think I ought to try one of these one time just like this without doing anything. But whether I can actually get myself to not do anything or not is, is um, questionable at best. So maybe I will just take a skewer and start gently by seeing what will happen if I add a few spirals here and there where the paint is heavy. Just break up the design. Without even tilting. No dots this time, like last time. I think that's just fun. I'm not saying everybody can do it. I'm not even saying you think I can do it, but it's something I've wanted to do for a while. I'm glad you could be here. I'm not minding my result. Even though I have that turquoise color shift from Foker all the way across. I kind of wanted some red metallic. I've got every other color in there. And I'm not minding that at all. I love how easy this turntable moves. I could probably even do some spin art if I wasn't in the gallery room where it's not going to happen. Hopefully what happened earlier will never happen again. Alright, there's a few dots. I kind of like what I've got. Enough to decide to stop. So when you guys share my videos, you help me out, and I really appreciate it, and I want to say thank you. Your comments are wonderful, and they always cheer me up. I so appreciate them. Your thumbs up are helpful to me. Watching the video longer, if you want to be of assistance, watching the video longer is the most important thing you can do. Okay, there, here come the dots. <laughs> Probably don't need any dots, but you might get them anyway. I like the orange little accents are pretty cool. They don't have to be real dots. They just have to show up. Yeah, I like it. I've only got these one, these several patterns. That's from force, forcibly pushing the paint into the other paint in the shovel.
I don't mind when colors combine. Well, I say that, and then I get one I'm not sure of. That was a dark one. Anyway, so it'll be really interesting to see how this dries. And I want to tell you guys I love you, and there's almost 89,000 of you subscribed. Thank you all very much. And if you're not subscribed, please feel free. If you're looking for more videos, I have over 1,400 videos, and they are organized. If you go to my channel, go to my playlists, you will find that they are organized by the hundred and by the genre. If you're looking for cool stuff that my designs are on, you might want to look under the video at the Teespring clothing. That's pretty cool stuff. All over print leggings and all over print t-shirts there. There's also Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Totes and More has more good stuff that will take you, the Shop Now button will take you to Fire Note America and Pixels.com where you can find probably another 1,400 items at least in stuff I've been posting there since 2013. My second book is on the Amazon link also, and if you have the first one and you don't know about the second one, the second one is called Unlimited Possibilities, because that's the way this type of artwork makes me feel, like I have unlimited possibilities. And I'm liking all those dots, and I'm liking my colors, and uh, I did mention, I think, that I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my mixes, and that's why I don't worry about them cracking when they dry. What else should I tell you? I have a, I have a drawing every month, and if you are a PayPal contributor to help keep the studio rolling, and thank you to everybody who has already, you will be automatically entered in the drawing, and I believe that there are four paintings, of which they're around here somewhere actually, but they're on the end screen, so you can see the prizes in the exhibition video of 48 from this month, that's on the last 20 seconds of the end screen of any video. I don't know if I want that white line to go forward, that black line to go back, I think both. Aha! Both is good. It looks like there was a dog hair stuck in my paint. There's a big surprise. Okay, I'm having too much fun again. I need to stop. Well, that's relative. <laughs> what else? So, Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Hey, can I have a thumbs up? If you remember, I would really appreciate that. Um, my paint pouring recipes under the video. I do sell my artwork. If you are interested in inquiring after a lesson or artwork sales, my email address is easpbgallery at gmail.com and it's right under the link tree link. Um, I, I should torch to release any bubbles caught in the paint when I shake the paint up in the bottles. I did pre-prime this canvas just earlier today and the air conditioning in the room seems to have done a magni magnificent job of drying it. This is just plain old fun for me. There's a lot going on in there, but um, I get my fingers crossed it's going to dry really nicely. I love you guys. Thank you for everything. I think I said that before, but thank you anyway. And um, what else is there? There's not much, but I think that's it. So I love you guys, and I will see you anon, and I hope I started my timer. Oh, I got plenty of time left. All right, I'm going to do this again, and next time I'm going to, um, after I wipe off that window, next time I'm going to drag a skewer through it or do something similar. Speaking of dragging a skewer through, I'm going to do that. There. You guys take care. I hope you come again. I'll see you soon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression at Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. My camera changes positions every time I reattach it and take it down. So I'll see you in on. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Happy 4th of July if it's, well, no, it won't be <laughs> for another year now. See you soon. Bye for now.